Hi, I'm Adrian Wong. I'm trained as a sculptor, but my practice has come to encompass uh, a lot of other media, installation and performance and theater in a, in a fair amount of video. Um, I was born in suburban Chicago, uh, Illinois in the United States. I grew up in a town of 25,000 people, five of whom were Chinese, all of whom lived in my house. My understanding and sort of attachment to Hong Kong was quite limited, kind of a specter. Negative association and sort of uh, difficult memories for, for my mother and father. I sort of understood this, the, the city and, and sort of the concept of Hong Kong through reading materials, through uh, records, just little snippets of conversation that I could, I could sort of glean from relatives when we were all kind of together. I came here in 2005 uh, on holiday uh, and I've, I've been here for 12 years. I was able to track down the only sort of living relative that I was aware of, discovered him through his son, celebrity magician, <laughs> Harry Wong, uh, Harry Gogo. Through kind of rediscovering that family, I was able to um, tap into some of the idiosyncratic stories that I had sort of grown up with and also link those to kind of a broader narrative. There's a lot of exciting things happening um, in, in Hong Kong's video art scene. A lot of things I think that are now transitioning from popular culture into the language of art much more quickly, especially in, especially in Hong Kong. The simultaneous reduction of, of the length of videos and the expansion of the individual moment from a photograph, we're finding a new space uh, for the creative act. The ideas captured by, by video are, I think, very much tied to the, the rapid changes in, in the culture here in Hong Kong and the culture around the world. News is transmitted more quickly. More and more sides of an argument, authorized voices uh, that are presenting you uh, perspectives on certain things to, to what normal people are, are thinking and doing. The future of video might be limited by the fact that video has become so ubiquitous. There was a sense of choice, how to make a carrot cake, a cute puppy. You would make these sorts of decisions and they were discreet and there was a sense of ownership. And my worry with this democratization of the means of production when it comes to video uh, means that everything is going to essentially be a video.